Hi there everyone, my name is Chris, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Pivot Head Recon video recording uh, glasses slash eyewear. Picked these up last week off from Amazon, uh, UK. They cost £245 plus postage and packaging. Uh, I think the postage cost was pretty good actually, it was only about three or four quid and, uh, and they sent it by guaranteed next day before 1pm delivery so uh, the, uh, the glasses got here very quickly indeed so that was a, that was a good start. Fairly new product, they haven't been around um, for a, a, a very long time so far, not the most popular so far, they haven't really been used that widespread but as far as I know that's purely just because people don't really know that much about them. They're also probably cost a bit more than your average GoPro camera. Obviously the GoPro HD Hero range, very popular because a uh, relatively cost effective product and then you've got the Contour cameras, a bit more expensive but again the people are more familiar with that conventional sort of helmet cam type design when it comes to uh, recording extreme sports or military operations or paintball and airsoft or whatever it is. But I've never really been happy with the actual view. I, I, you know, the cameras you can put them up here or on the side of your head. Um, uh, you can make, you know, on sh on your shoulders or chest or whatever. But there's never been a way of truly getting that first person eye view, and that's what these do. So that's why I've picked them up because the camera on them is literally right in there and in between your eyes. Because I've always wanted to get some footage that would really look like you sort of in a first person video game. So let's take a look. You've got your basic outer packaging, all your tech specs on the back, various little bits of uh, instructions, some QR codes there for using with your phone. Take the main package outside of the sort of the actual outer box. Comes nicely packaged up, actually it's got this sort of uh, nice folding case, looks quite cool. But obviously the main point is it's going to uh, protect, your, protect your eyewear, which is the main thing when it's in transit. So accessories wise, comes with case. Now obviously the, the actual glasses themselves are pretty, you know, they're, that, they're the main cost, so you're going to want to look after them when they're transporting you. It. It's a really good to it's a really nice tough case. Got a carabiner there for attaching it to whatever. And a nice sort of felt lined. There's your extra spare lenses. Comes with three sets. You've got a sort of like a, a smoke, a clear, and a yellow. Really nice, uh, sort of thickly padded out. And then you've got some just some basic quick reference instructions inside the base of the, of the case itself there so that you don't. At the end of the day, what you're going to do is put your eyewear in that case and then just carry this around with you. You don't want to have to carry a little paper leaflet that you fold out and have to try to fold back again every time. You know, everyone's done that with some gadget or another at some point. It's always really annoying. And actually, case in point, there's your, there's your actual main instructions. Then you've got, there's always some annoying little paper thing that you have to unfold every time you want to read the instructions and then you have to fold it back in and these always wear out very quickly because they're always just thin paper so you've got your quick reference ones in the actual case there quick read of that, that will get you going and then you don't need to worry about that anymore warranty there nice cleaning cloth obviously something, you know, a good lint free cloth is always very important when you with any sort of eyewear make sure that you can actually keep them clean and see where you're going. Last thing before the actual eyewear is USB connection cable. Obviously that's something you need for uh, uploading your footage and then we got the eyewear itself. nice and securely packaged which is good to see because you don't want these things getting broken in the post when they're on your way, their way to you. There we go. 
full 1080p recording in something that is extremely light and you know there's a little bit of bulk on the actual legs of the frame there your, your controls but overall they're really not that much bigger and chunkier than a standard pair of sunglasses to be honest you know you've got these blocks here that are a little bit wider but it's, it's very good overall and then you've got there's the lens right in the center and uh, you know the, the frame itself is a little bit wider than your average but then again you know some ESS and Wiley X and Smith Optics you know some some of them are pretty close to being as chunky as that with the plastic they use so they really fit these into a low profile package and then uh, fit them on your, your face easy as that and uh, they really don't look all that different to a standard pair of sunglasses now your uh, <coughs> in terms of the actual features of them like I say there's, there's the lens it records standard def footage as well as 720 and 1080p as well as still photos while you're doing video there's your actual there's your sort of clicker as it were for the for the still photos and video got a heat sink for, for the internal components nice rubber cover for the USB connector port just there and then there's actually nothing on this side it's just smooth really really ex extremely simple um, not much to them at all to be honest uh, th this section here is a nice sort of rubberized material makes it a little bit more comfortable they're not the most comfortable things ever when they're actually on your face I have to admit there's a they do feel a little bit sort of harsh a little bit, mm. a bit hard on the on the ears but you know the fact you've got that recording capability it, you know you're not going to notice it after a while once you actually get into whatever it is you're doing anyway got the, the smoke lenses fitted at the moment so you can swap those out pretty easily um, but like I say they're, they're really very simple guys extremely lightweight and uh, yeah I'll, I'll be doing some testing with them uh, very soon shouldn't have worn a black t-shirt for this video really but yeah I, I will upload some footage I will get them set up now get them ready to record and uh, just try some test footage and uh, I'll be uploading that soon so thank you for watching uh, if you want to keep up to date with the videos on the channel check out the Facebook page for it which is going to be in the description link below thank you for all the subscribers out there and all the thumbs up and all that good stuff much appreciated i'll see you next time guys